All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, and boy, do we have news today. So this is going to be a massive update on Justin Faye's 3-9-2024 at 1.20 p.m. I went to his channel to make the third and what I thought was going to be final video for quite some time, and I ran into this when I went to look for the video. So I went to go to this guy's page to look for that third video, which was from about three days ago, and shocker, it is no longer there. It seems like he's deleted all of his Sovereign Citizen content. There should be a two-hour video right here, that documentary. You can't see it, but I'm using air quotes, the documentary of him recording himself breaking the law and then getting mad that the police held him accountable. But I went to this, also search Justin Faye's. This is the video that I'm looking for. Yes, it is now private. But as per usual, Sovereign Citizens cannot hide from me, so we're going to show that video anyway. Uh, Justin, already had it. Stop hiding, bud. This is going to be him going to the police department, harassing the desk sergeant, desk supervisor, again, saying some nonsensical things, again, and then he's going to get his friend to drive him to the tow yard, which magically, he recorded everything up to that point, and then just magically forgot to record what happened at the tow yard. Uh, he's going to have his car at the end of the video. How he has his car, I don't know. We're going to go into some speculation on that. And then the fact that he's hiding where he's parking it, Enjoy the video. This is where the fun begins. So we're... So, wow. Wow, they just stopped somebody up there. Corrupt ass shit. That's Sergeant too. Huh? Yeah, so we're... Huh? Yeah, I think so. So we're heading to the police department because... We need the release forms from the towing company. Uh, we're hoping this goes smooth, but uh, as after all the events that took place, um, I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if it's not going to go smooth, but we're going to see. And this is exactly why I don't like sovereign citizens, and it's starting to bleed into frauditors as well. Everyone to them is a tyrant. Anyone who holds them accountable for their actions and law-breaking behavior is a tyrant. You have no idea what that traffic stop was about. That could have gone on, could be a three-hour chase of a guy who just unalived his wife. You don't know that. But because you have this, you know, chip on your shoulder when it comes to police, you hate that guy. You think he's a tyrant. If any of them were tyrants, you would have disappeared a long time ago, Justin. Your family would not exist. No videos would exist. You wouldn't have a YouTube channel. Everything would be gone. But since you're still here putting out shit content, clearly they're not tyrants. How's it going? How's it going? Um, we're looking, well, first, can I get your name and badge number? Yeah, I'm Sergeant Baby, badge 358. Okay, we're looking um, for the release forms, correct? Yeah, release, release forms for a car that got towed. They said if we came here, we just needed to ask for the release forms. Yep, I just need to see the registration for the vehicle. Yeah. Any information that shows you the actual owner of the vehicle. Yeah, I could show you information, but I don't have contracts with the state. Uh, I have the proof right here that I'm not, I have no contracts with the state. One second. You haven't registered? No, because I, I don't, I don't contract with the state. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. So that, that's why the, the department is in really big trouble okay. for violating. I can't release it without the registration. No, no, but the lady on the phone said that if I have other documentation saying that it's my car, like a, like a statement or something. Yeah, yeah, we have, all, yeah, we have all of that. But, but we don't, but that's what I'm saying. That you guys, if you guys were to deny me that, you guys would be violating. Uh, listen, I've been down this road before. Show me what you have. This giant head wants. <clears throat> Show me what you got. Okay, I'm just, but as a public servant. So, you, okay. Right here, that's the account number for the car, the Buick. I can't accept that. I have to have notarized paperwork. Notarized from where? Yeah, like notarized, like they, like, this is our bill of sale and it's notarized. That's just our- that's Bill of sale saying like the car contract? Where did you get, where did you get the vehicle from, man? What do you mean? Oh, so you need like a contract from the dealership? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, I have that in the car, I'll go get that real quick. Okay. Okay, thank Something you. No, see, this is this is what I'm trying to explain to every officer, captains, lieutenants, that um, I'm not operating under state jurisdiction, mm -hmm. and they, they're they're violating. They already violated my rights. There's like a whole lawsuit going on. I don't know why I just said that. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but gotta stand by it. 
or state off on roads? No, no, because when there's a difference between private and public. So when you when you have contracts with the state, like I know the whole sovereign citizen. No, 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 it's not that. Uh, oh, but it is like that. Is it a sovereign citizen? No, 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 not like that. No, it's exactly like that. You don't like that it now means domestic terrorists, so you're trying to shy away from that. You'll you'll say state, national, or something along those lines, but you subscribe to the same ideology, use the exact same rhetoric, but you're a sovereign citizen with extra steps. That's not that. So look, go get what you have. Okay. If it's something that we can deal with, then I'll deal with it. But if not, then I won't release it to you. You'll have to come back in the morning and speak to like someone higher than me, like patrol captain. Okay, but so so you're re so is that policy? Me. Is that policy? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so policy is not law. But one second, wait. wait. Justin, you sweet, sweet summer child, you. It's not policy or law to have somebody come into the police department and say, hey, you towed a vehicle that may or may not look like this. I need you to release it to me. And then when they ask for paperwork proving that it's yours, you can come up with, ah, trust me. It's not how that interaction is going to work. So the whole policy versus law thing, that has no bearing on this current situation it's not applicable if you will now earlier uh do you have do you have your name and badge number that's policy that's policy is policy like is that like law <laughs> so it's funny that the police department for lack of a better term is preventing this car from being stolen by some random yahoo and he has a, he has a problem with that but him randomly running around threatening people with lawsuits because they don't give name and badge number like that's that's not law so like you can get bad justin you, you, I, so, so, you, so you're not gonna let me speak my piece. Speak your piece. Okay, so a policy is not law. No. Policy doesn't force the law, and if I don't follow policy, that's not breaking the law. I'm not going to engage you in this. Give the paperwork. All right. Okay. I have one question. But you didn't even hear me out. I have one question. How are they able to tow the car if they didn't have any paperwork? Because the vehicle's not registered. We so clearly Justin felt some type of way because he privated all of his sovereign citizen nonsense. But let's just do this because the third time's a charm, I guess. Sinise vs. Roe and the right to travel. Justice Stevens, writing for the majority. Sorry, I've done this so many times I basically have it memorized. Found that although the right to travel was not explicitly mentioned in the Constitution, concept firmly embedded in our jurisprudence he described the three components of the right to travel bear with me again guys one the right to enter one state and leave another two the right to be treated as a welcome visitor rather than a hostile stranger three for those who want to become permanent residents the right to be treated equally to native-born citizens again at no point does that say you can run around with a toaster on wheels without a license without registering it without getting a state inspection also Apparently, Justin just says, F the Tenth Amendment, which I find absolutely comical for sovereign citizens at this point. They just cut out what doesn't go fit their narrative. The Tenth Amendment, they uh, skip from 9 to 11. All the information from a vehicle. But it's not okay. Take okay. Jurisdiction, so how do they Wait, take do you it? Have, do you have the VIN number for the vehicle? I do, but the thing is, which, but I, I want, I'm like, uh, for a second, take yourself out of your official capacity. A human to human, okay? Yeah. If you work for the state, correct? I do, I do, I do. Okay, so, okay, exactly. So that's the state. Police officers work for the state. No, I work for the city, I don't work for the state. Yeah, but you guys are employed by the state. The, the city, the city is under the state. No, sir. I'm employed by the city. Okay, but, but what I'm trying to say is that I have the documentation here from the DMV that states, I, volu I voluntarily surrendered it. I voluntarily surrendered it, which means that I'm not under contract with the state. The police department cannot interfere with my sovereign capacity. Not sovereign citizen, because to be a citizen means that you don't have any rights. I'm sovereign. I don't have contracts with the state. Sir, you can't drive the state of Pennsylvania. I don't drive. Without a driver's I don't. You see, driver for a driver's license, drive. I don't drive. I travel. And so, bear with me. This is going to be a long one. We're going to talk about the DMV and then sovereign citizen naming and Black's Law Dictionary Second Edition. First, the DMV. Yes, you can send your plate back. We talked. We talked about it. I went to the website. They probably think you sent it back because it's wrecked. You parked it at the bottom of a river. It's now a lawn ornament, something along those lines. So they think that that car is in place forever, never to be moved again. So they took it back thinking, oh, he doesn't want the license plate sitting around his house. That's what that means. They didn't say, oh, yeah, he sent it back because he, he's the living man. Like, that's not what happened. Second, 
oh, I'm a sovereign, not a citizen, blah, blah, blah. No, your great, great grandpappy who came up with the movement in the 60s and 70s, y'all named themselves that. We're making fun of you. You're going to say it's an oxymoron. Yeah, but y'all named yourselves, so it's y'all's problem. Second, driver. He's misquoting Black's Law Dictionary, second edition. Wow, we're already 57 seconds into this clip. Yes, he's misquoting Black's Law Dictionary, second edition. Driver means to employ something, employ equals commerce. That's what their logic is. Driver means to put something into use because that's what employ means, to make use of something, to put something into use. When he slams, when he slams it into D for drive and starts driving around making use of something, congratulations, you are now employing a car, truck, motor vehicle. So there's that. Black's Law Dictionary, second edition, debunks them in that dictionary from 1910. So the fact that they keep trying to quote it is absolutely hilarious to me. Let's, let's stop the rigor we're on talking. Let's stop the rigor we're on talking. Let's focus on trying to get the vehicle back. <laughs> but, but, but what I'm trying to get you to understand is that if we don't come to some type of understanding of what is wrong or right, you're just going to use the, the badge to enforce something that is not really enforceable. So, and I don't want you to get in trouble just as long as with the... As long as with the... Oh, okay, okay. What's the difference between showing the car contract and what we have? So, whatever you have, the, the, the vehicle has to show that it belongs to you legally. Legally. When you purchase a vehicle, a vehicle in the state of this Pennsylvania, is crazy, really bro. any other state in the United States, you have to register that vehicle with the, with the state. Okay. So what I just showed you, though, but now that's shows the that it belongs to him. Paperwork? from the dealer that says, hey. We have that, but I just showed but you. But the thing is, the problem is. If that's just something on a screen, and I can't see anything else on it. That doesn't count, ma'am. That doesn't count, ma'am. What the? My favorite thing about Justin is that he throws random shit up on screen like they actually matter. Uh, no, it just proves that you bought a packet from a guru that has some cherry-picked sentences from Supreme Court decisions that may or may not even exist. And then he throws something up on screen. Black's Law Dictionary, second edition. We're on the 11th. Also, the fucking Law Dictionary. Law Dictionary, not the law. So there's that. Also, right there at the end, where's he getting this power from? I don't know. It's the fucking law. Where do you get your power from to come up with Fantasyland type pseudo law and play it off like it's the actual law? But nobody gave you that? Okay. Suck a dick, Justin. What else did you want to see? That's the bank. That's the what we're paperwork. banking. All right, all right. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll be back. Okay, no problem. See, it's not registered with the state. I mean, I need to see a bank contract. I need to see the original dealer. I need to see, you know, something like that. Okay, but did, did you hear what I... I'm traveling with that vehicle on a... But you keep saying... No, but the thing is, you're saying vehicle. And by the law, by, by legal definitions, a vehicle means you're operating in public capacity. If I'm saying automobile and you see you keep saying a vehicle, that's a conflict of interest. Because I'm correcting you... Operating something I don't operate. Wheels. No, operate implies public. The, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, what implies private? Traveling. Were you traveling in something that has four wheels? I, an automobile. Gas power. An automobile. Did you do that on any concrete paved road or anything like that? No. If you're public, if I had, if I still had contract, sir, if I have this, can you see this, Captain? So Justin kind of shows his ass there. Uh, he keeps quoting Kent V. Dulles. Uh, I told you it was in his guru packet from one of the other videos. I said, Kent V. Dulles. Ah, oh, Lord. 357 U.S. 116 from 1958 was a landmark decision from the Supreme Court on the right to travel and passport restrictions as they apply to the First Amendment or as they relate to the First Amendment. Basically, from what I'm reading it, again, not a lawyer, just a person who knows a thing about it thing or two. It seems to me that this case was about travel via passports during wartime or peacetime, regardless of who you support, aka if you're a communist or something of that nature, yeah, you can still travel. You still have the right to get a passport and travel abroad. Um, so yeah, no point does it say anything about driving a car without a license. So I don't know what he's talking about there. Also, he quoted Thompson v. Smith. The problem with buying a guru packet, knowing that the guru relies on dumb people buying it, the guru knows that they're not going to look into it any further than the sentence that he put on the, on the paperwork. So we've already knocked out Kent V. Dulles. He tried to quote the Chicago bus versus Chicago. 
that was already incorrect. I think Chili quotes that one. Now Thompson v. Smith, like that's one of the cases that says, yes, the state can require you to have a driver's license. So look into your shit, Justin. So we'll go get the- I've just been advised by my captain, been advised by my captain. Because you have no legitimate business here this time. No, we do, we're here. We're legitimate business when you because guys stole our, vehicle, our, our automobile. Right, because How? your vehicle needs to be registered with the state of Pennsylvania, I can release it. But, but sir, wait, this captain, what's your first name again? Why do you keep saying criminal trespassing? This is a public property. Government no, building. Legitimate. Yes, we are. We're, we're handling it right now. You're going to leave now or you're going to do You stole our property. You're going to leave now or you're going to do You stole our property. You're going to leave now or you're going to do it. You stole Wow, threat of arrest. Under threat of arrest, we'll leave, but just understand this, this is, is on the record. That's all I want. Okay. okay. We'll be back with Okay. No you stole our property and then it makes no sense. Come on. It's absolutely the bitchy Karen esque walk of shame. Oh, they stole my vehicle. No, no. They towed a car with no plate. Not only didn't have a plate, the DMV said they sent it back, which to them means unusable. Again, parked at the bottom of a river. So, red flag number one. It's not registered. It, the inspections expired. All signs that a vehicle is abandoned. Just because somebody threw a private plate on the back doesn't automatically make it not abandoned. So there's that. Also, just bring the correct paperwork. It seems like you're just playing games at this point for content on YouTube, which because you're so embarrassed that you've been exposed that you took all of it down. On oh, the threat of arrest, he continues. He continues to do it. It's fine. Arrest me when you get in fucking trouble. And then that's when we get a lawyer and they're going to take it. Because then that means you, you arrested somebody without problem. As people that cover frauditors and regularly watch frauditor videos, know they can arrest you and you'll get charged. And more than likely you'll get convicted or you'll take a plea deal and not tell anyone. That seems to be the frauditor way. So, mm, hush now, Justin. You have the paperwork? Yes. So, I'm coming back with a document that says UCC 1-308. This is the document of the car. We're not, we're here for legitimate business, as you, as you can see. Hello, this is for the release form. The other officer was taking care of us. I don't want to get you involved in what's going on, but the, the, the release form. For our car. For our car that got towed. Uh, um, I let them. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, he went to the back. Thank you. Again, he's trying to roundabout threaten an officer. Oh, well, I don't want to deal with you because I don't want to get you involved in his lawsuit is what he's trying to say. It's bullshit. If any, please bring this to court. Please bring this as a lawsuit and then record the judge laughing at you as you cry your way out of the courtroom. Please do that. All right, what can I do for you? Okay, here's, that's the paper. That's the disclosure from the... Uh, the car contract. The car contract. So this is an odometer disclosure statement. This isn't a contract of sale. That's That's from part me. of the contract. Pardon me? That's, that's part me. of the contract. I need the, I it has the VIN on there. You asked for the VIN. Huh? The VIN it has the VIN there. number. I'm sorry, what? The he actually flips my paper over with all my information on it because he wanted to get it on the body cam, which showed how corrupt they are. Like if I'm trusting you enough to give you my information, to give me a release form, I would expect that you wouldn't, you know, try to get that on a public um, documentation. Like, doc, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want my personal, my VIN number. I don't want all of these different ways you could get jurisdiction over me on a public documentation because. Now, any officer could access that. This is where I have to stop and think, how are there people in the world functioning that are this stupid? Um, Justin, they have all your information already. They towed your vehicle. Therefore, they have your VIN number already. It's probably written down on several documents because it has to be. Um, they know where you live because they pulled you over at your house. They wrote you tickets. So the court knows all your information. Anyone can search Justin whatever your last name is, because you've made sure to hide that pretty well. I'm pretty sure your last name is not FaZe. 
trying to be an edgy 13 year old joining a gaming clan. Um, yeah, they already have all your information, bud. Like, there's no conspiracy. There's no tyrannical government. There's nothing. They're not out to get you. They already have your information. The VIN, the VIN number is on there. Right, but this isn't, this isn't a sale. Ah. All right, so what I found out from my captain is, is your car's been set for abandonment as an abandoned vehicle. It's now a civil matter between you and that company right there. That's where you go to from now on. Your vehicle's been listed as an abandoned vehicle. So it becomes a civil process between you and the company that retains the So vehicle. we can't just go get our car? Point. But I can tell you they're probably not going to release it to you without like more than that. So what do you mean? No, we have more stuff. It's just that's the paper that we have right now. Well, when I asked you to bring all the other stuff in, why would you bring just that? Because that's what we have available on us right now. At this point, I can safely say that everyone watching this video, outside of maybe Justin and his lady friend, has been to the DMV. Secretary of State, Social Security Office, you know, tax administration, yada, 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 at some point in their life. And regularly when I go, uh, I bring more than enough information, like more than enough information. When I was getting my driver's license in Ohio and then turning it into a veteran's ID, that much information. When I was going to the Secretary of State and Courthouse to get my concealed carry in Ohio, when they still required one, that much information. Just in case anything extra popped up, I would be covered and wouldn't have to come back. Justin and his lady friend apparently don't believe in that. They're going to bring the bare minimum, even if that's not what is required. He thinks that having the VIN equals he owns the car. I can walk down the street right now and get every single VIN off of every single car in my neighborhood. It doesn't mean I own them. It's just right there on the windshield. You can literally see it and write it down. That means absolutely nothing. Get your paperwork in order and come back. We don't have the rest well, of the but stuff, but it has the VIN number. In a, in a public capacity, if I give you... Listen. Okay, okay, I, I respect this it. This is going to be round and round. Okay. I'm, I understand what you're saying, all right? I do, I do. But that's that's not how it works. Okay. Right? So, although, you know, we're real big on, you know, live free, all right? You know, all that, an, an individual's right. So, there are certain constraints the state places on us. That's in between. They're not too... They're not too too heavy, you know. So one of the things is that you gotta register your vehicle, and we can go round and round with this, but that's just the way it is. Okay. And okay. as far as this, so what what did you mean by like they might not release it to us? Like you have to we have to have more that, documentation. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. That we have to release a vehicle to you, but now it's gone into abandonment, which means they're claiming title of the vehicle. Okay. The legal process. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. But, but I thought you were supposed to have like thirty days. Man, whatever the process was, they've already started it. So that's what they're going to from now on. So they just proceeded to do whatever they wanted. But okay, thank you. All right, well, thank you. Now they did another walk of shame. But here's the part that's the red flags are going to start going up. It's going to get real, going to get real fishy sounding. Um, we've all watched enough of these videos, Sovereign Citizen, more Frauditor, to catch the red flags, to catch the. The stuff that they're intentionally leaving out. There's a giant thing that they're intentionally leaving out, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, it's going to get real fishy from here on out. To the, uh, to the towing company, because like you guys just seen, they're trying to say that our car is abandoned when they give us 28 days. So, you know, they're playing, they're playing, they're playing unfair, but we got some uh, special guests here with us today. No. We got Cash and AP in the building, you know what I mean, producer. We got him in here, he's helping us, getting us to, you know, where we got to go to, you know, fulfill and, and, and protect our rights. We're going to see how this goes. Guarantee you these people are going to fucking call the cops, but we'll see how this goes. Good yeah, guys, so, um, I forgot to document it the day we got it, but we did get her back. Uh, red flag? So you're telling me you roped your friend, who clearly didn't want to fucking be there, into going to record and drive to get your car from the tow yard. You spent... Probably hours and weeks, months, days, editing a two hour and 30, two hour and 45 minute documentary about this, about you breaking the law, being held accountable, and now we're here. And right as it reaches the climax, I just forgot to record it. Uh, I don't know what happened. Sorry, guy. No, no. You either recorded it, it didn't go your way, or you fucking registered that shit, just like every other sovereign citizen does. Uh, here, here, I just won't record this here. Just give me my car back. 
and then you drove it off with the with the plates that you probably got. Took off the plate, slapped another private sticker on the back, and said, "Oh yeah, sovereign citizen is the way to go." Now we're going to look at where he parked it. Sitting pretty, and look, we got the we got the we got the traveler plate on there. You no, know, we never public. We never public. When you're public, you don't have rights. But anyways, <clears throat> we pulled her out on the 24th. It's the 28th. Uh, and it's crazy, guys, because we don't want to put it back. We don't want to put the we don't want to put the car back on the street because clearly they're harassing us. So like we literally have to park it in an area where nobody knows or like somebody's not going to complain because we truly believe it was the neighbors that put in complaints because when we were at the towing company, somebody uh, said, oh, uh, you know, there was a lot of complaints. So she said it and I don't think she meant to say it or wasn't supposed to tell us. So guys, all of this happened because somebody on our street complained. That's weird. Like, why are you even worried about me? But anyways, guys, so... Uh, that's it for now. We got a route. Uh, now we got court on the 28th of November, and we're going to see how this goes. Ah, we're going to represent ourselves. No lawyer, no nothing. We're going to beat this shit. You already know. Let's peace. Yeah, so in my opinion, Justin is hiding the truth from everyone because he would have recorded it. If he got it back the way he says he probably got it back, he would have recorded it. He would have made sure he recorded it so that he could gloat. And he did not do that. Again, normally these people are like, oh, I'm such a good sovereign citizen, I'll do what I want. But in the grand scheme, they normally get their shit registered when they have to. They'll take plea deals when they have to and hide it from their subscribers. It's really, really scummy, grifty way to do things. But yeah, I'll try to keep tabs on him like I showed earlier. All of his videos are currently private. The ones that I find interesting, the other ones, the podcast sitting at the bottom. Wow, wow, that doesn't interest me at all. Um, so yeah, I'll try to keep tabs on him, see if any of these videos pop up. If he wants to update us on his court case, that would be terrific. I doubt he will. I'm assuming it was no November of last uh, year. I haven't seen anything, but here we are. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.